Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today we're going to use thermite to burn a big gaping glowing hole through an iMac computer. Welcome to the Annihilation Station, your station for blowing things up with guns, explosives, volatile chemical concoctions and high impact devices. It's part fun, part science. In this third installment of my mini-series about destroying an iMac computer, uh, we're going to use thermite to burn this big hole through it. In the first episode we used an air rifle to shoot the screen into pieces. Uh, the iMac looked like a real piece of art after that. In the second video we had lots of fun with my friend Martin. Uh, we unleashed an AR-15, a semi-automatic shotgun, a 44 Magnum and a few other guns on a couple of iMacs actually. The first iMac, the objective is to you know get the aluminum actually separated from everything else in a fun way, right? So uh, I succeeded with the first iMac. So I have the aluminum that I was looking for from my first iMac. As you can see, mission accomplished, very successful. And um, the second iMac actually uh, still sort of in one piece, it, uh, the, uh, the foot piece is still on it, attached. Uh, the back side is aluminum, so it's keeping all the components together. It's looking like this. As you can see, it's still one piece, even though the screen is gone. And um, we're going to use some thermite to uh, burn, you know, a big hole through this. And, and hopefully I'll be able to, you know, then take this uh, foot piece off and then use a crowbar to, you know, just clear it out. Take all the guts out so that I can have the aluminum uh, that I really need for the fourth grand finale episode in this mini-series. So I'm going to uh, leave some uh, links below in the description uh, to the previous two videos. I definitely recommend that you go and check them out. I highly recommend that you subscribe to this channel, the Annihilation Station, um, and you know, click on that little bell icon thingy so that you get notified when I publish the uh, the next video. So this fourth video where I'm going to take the aluminum and do something awesome with it, you definitely don't want to miss that one. So you want to see that one. And um, I bet you you wouldn't be able to guess what I'm going to do with it. So uh, I'd be interested to see uh, what you're thinking, you know, what you're speculating. You know, leave a comment below and um, tell me what you think I'm going to do with the aluminum. Uh, you know, what am I going to make with it? Uh, you may be wrong in your guessing, but I may get some interesting ideas from your comments and then we can incorporate that into another mini-series on iMac annihilation or something else, you know, that you, that you would like to see happening on this channel. So what is thermite anyway? Well, I'm going to do another video that will, you know, give you a little bit of science around thermite and I'll show you how you can make it yourself and um, where you can buy the ingredients. Uh, and I'll leave, you know, that link in the description below once that video comes out. But suffice to say for this video, uh, thermite is uh, a very simple mixture of two things that we find around us uh, that's very stable compounds. Uh, the one is aluminum powder, the other is iron oxide or rust. And um, you mix those two up in a certain ratio and it's still a very stable mix um, until you add the proper level of heat. It really needs something very hot to get it ignited. Once it ignites, you have a very awesome reaction. It just takes a few seconds for it to do its thing and uh, it generates like it reaches up to 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's like 2,500 degrees Celsius. To put that in perspective, I believe iron melts around 1,500 degrees Celsius. Uh, so that's a lot of heat that you know, gets generated in a very short amount of time. So I'm going to use a sparkler to ignite the thermite. Uh, that works very well. It gets hot enough. It's pretty. And, you know, it gives you a bit of time to stand back, kind of like a fuse. And um, I'm going to use a ceramic um, flower pot uh, with uh, the hole, you know, being pried open a little. 
uh, that will you know keep all the thermite together so that it doesn't spill off the computer and we'll channel it through the uh, surface of the Mac and then see what happens. So if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And uh, without any further ado, shall we? We shall. So here is our setup. Uh, this is the iMac. Uh, you'll see this dent, this really deep dent over here. It's not quite in the middle, uh, but I'm going to use this ceramic pot and put it over that dent. I think that's going to give us the uh, the best way to um, channel as much of the um, thermite into it as we can. Um, you can see we have some uh, some pretty significant holes here. This dent was uh, inflicted by uh, the shotgun and um, so that's pretty impressive. And then you can see the AR-15 holes, the 44 Magnum, uh, that was probably a 44 Magnum as well. And uh, so on. So let's get to it. Come on, termite. Little bit here as well, we don't want to waste any. Awesome. This is pretty, pretty awesome stuff.
well. Um, I'm not 100% sure how big the hole is, but uh, it was definitely very impressive. So uh, I think it's going to make a really cool video. So let's check it out. Yeah, um, I'm definitely going to have to use a high impact device of sorts to, um, to break out all the innards. So I didn't quite get that big hole that I was looking for, but nevertheless, it was annihilation fun. So, work it over. Yeah, you can see how um, all this molten metal sort of poured through, you can have the different bullet holes. So not the big gaping hole that I was looking for, nevertheless it was not a disappointment. So I'm gonna leave this baby to cool down probably the rest of the day and um, then I'll just use a sledgehammer maybe and a crowbar and break this thing open, salvage the aluminum and work on video number four. Grand finale, awesome, pretty awesome video.